So currently we're at uh, Yarrawea property uh, and uh, we're engaged in a project here to restore 100 hectares of cleared uh, marginal agricultural land um, back to uh, a native state which, would, which we would have imagined would have existed prior to clearing. Um, this site is located in the middle of the Gondwana Link uh, pathway between the Sterling Ranges and the Fitzgerald River National Park. And so by restoring this 100 hectares, we are reconnecting um, bits of fragmented uh, bush. The project is uh, quite exciting because there's a number of different soil types. Uh, which will which have associations with different plant communities which we'll be restoring uh, at the same time as uh, sequestering carbon through um, the growth of the, the trees and the large shrubs that will be a part of that system and actually right now uh, this system here is a, is a yate woodland and you can see here we've got lots of carbon in these yate trunks and um, we'll be re-establishing our goal is to try and re-establish a similar sort of uh, layout of, of trees and, and shrubs in order to, to enable the carbon to be sequestered while also providing a number of other ecosystem services such as uh, habitat for the native fauna. By restoring the native vegetation, what we're doing is we're re-establishing re those native ecosystems. And you know, ecosystems aren't just trees. There, 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 there are a number of different uh, plant species that that that, that provide uh, services, such as flowering at different times of the year. If you have a monoculture, you only get one flowering event. Where if you have a diversity of species, you have multiple asynchronistic flowering throughout the season, which is really helpful for a lot of the the native birds. Uh, it produces much more insects for, for the insectivorous um, uh, species and through that we're actually re-establishing an ecosystem. Mm -hmm.